Wine is bottled poetry. Compromise is the best and cheapest lawyer. Marriage, a friendship recognized by the police. An aim in life is the only fortune worth finding. All human beings are commingled out of good and evil. To travel hopefully is a better thing than to arrive. The price we have to pay for money is sometimes liberty. Marriage is one long conversation, checkered by disputes. Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. You can give without loving, but you can never love without giving. Marriage is like life. It is a field of battle, not a bed of roses. Absences are a good influence in love and keep it bright and delicate. The mark of a good action is that it appears inevitable in retrospect. The man is a success who has lived well, laughed often, and loved much. It is the mark of a good action that it appears inevitable in retrospect. Life is not a matter of holding good cards, but of playing a poor hand well. The truth that is suppressed by friends is the readiest weapon of the enemy. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. It is better to lose health like a spendthrift than to waste it like a miser. Man is a creature who lives not upon bread alone, but primarily by catchwords. Books are good enough in their own way, but they are a poor substitute for life. Our business in life is not to succeed, but to continue to fail in good spirits. To be wholly devoted to some intellectual exercise is to have succeeded in life. Politics is perhaps the only profession for which no preparation is thought necessary. I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. The great affair is to move. Keep your eyes open to your mercies. The man who forgets to be thankful has fallen asleep. Well, well, Henry James is pretty good, though he is of the 19th century, and that glaringly. In marriage, a man becomes slack and selfish and undergoes a fatty degeneration of his moral being. It is a golden maxim to cultivate the garden for the nose and the eyes will take care of themselves. I am in the habit of looking not so much to the nature of a gift as to the spirit in which it is offered. If a man loves the labor of his trade, apart from any question of success or fame, the gods have called him. There is only one difference between a long life and a good dinner, that, in the dinner, the sweets come last.
We are all travelers in the wilderness of this world, and the best we can find in our travels is an honest friend. Perpetual devotion to what a man calls his business is only to be sustained by perpetual neglect of many other things. The body is a house of many windows. There we all sit, showing ourselves and crying on the passers-by to come and love us. When I am grown to man's estate, I shall be very proud and great, and tell the other girls and boys not to meddle with my toys. You cannot run away from weakness. You must some time fight it out or perish, and if that be so, why not now and where you stand? Every heart that has beat strongly and cheerfully has left a hopeful impulse behind it in the world, and bettered the tradition of mankind. I never weary of great churches. It is my favorite kind of mountain scenery. Mankind was never so happily inspired as when it made a cathedral. Give us grace and strength to forbear and to persevere. Give us courage and gaiety and the quiet mind. Spare to us our friends. Soften to us our enemies. So long as we love, we serve. So long as we are loved by others. I should say that we are almost indispensable, and no man is useless while he has a friend. Most of our pocket wisdom is conceived for the use of mediocre people to discourage them from ambitious attempts and generally console them in their mediocrity. The web, then, or the pattern, a web at once sensuous and logical, an elegant and pregnant texture. That is style. That is the foundation of the art of literature. There is no progress whatsoever. Everything is just the same as it was thousands and tens of thousands of years ago. The outward form changes. The essence does not change. It isn't likely that posterity will fall in love with us. But not impossible that it may respect or sympathize. So a man would rather leave behind him the portrait of his spirit than a portrait of his face. It is not so much for its beauty that the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts, as for the subtle something, that quality of air that emanates from old trees, that so wonderfully changes and renews a weary spirit. Talk is by far the most accessible of pleasures. It costs nothing in money. It is all profit. It completes our education, funds, and fosters our friendships, and can be enjoyed at any age and in almost any state of health. There is an idea abroad among moral people that they should make their neighbors good. One person I have to make good, myself. But my duty to my neighbor is much more nearly expressed by saying that I have to make him happy if I may. You can forgive people who do not follow you through a philosophical disquisition, but to find your wife laughing when you had tears in your eyes, or staring when you were in a fit of laughter, would go some way towards the dissolution of the marriage.